Hello and welcome everybody. I hope they were all good and you join me for a very soggy, rainy Pollywag community day. We've just got off the back of the live stream. Thank you to everybody who joined for it. It was a bit of a fruitless endeavor. We did get a hundo on stream, which is awesome. But if we check out here, we've just picked up a huge shiny, which is very nice, a weather boosted, shiny, fantastic. And this is actually, I mean, depressingly, you may remember earlier in the year, January, you know, we had Chespin, Com Day, the likes of Lavatar Community Day Classic, where in the first hour we were picking up over 20 shinies. This is shiny number eight. And I don't know what it is. I feel like my entire trajectory of Community Day shiny race is just going and plummeting. Eighth shiny, I have said many times to people on stream, etc. I'm not overly fussed about this Community Day. It's a dead three star. Hey ho, but it's a lovely shiny. It's even better as Polly Toad. But we're gonna see if we can pick up any other shinies. Do we have an arch in the house spawns? Ooh, what shines can we get? Is there going to be another 100 percent that we can check? Because it is actually rainy boost in this area now. It wasn't for the first hour, so no PvP IV potential, unfortunately. So let me know in the comments below how you're feeling about this community. How did you do? Was it a new shiny for you? And if so, I hope you managed to get your shiny families completed. Were you chasing hundos? Were you chasing PvP IVs? By the way, showcases are back. But what we're going to go and do is do some roots. And uh, actually, I need to incubate some eggs because it's quarter egg distance and that's actually quite good considering adventure week eggs so let's put these in a foot 1.2k lovely i do want to show something very cool earlier this morning we finally picked up shiny archon while driving in the car absolutely fantastic we finally pulled in that shiny and um we actually hatched out of an egg from i don't know where anadale va is i don't know who that is off of my friends this but i got a hundo tortuga finally out of the seven kilometer egg so we have actually hatched something good for the event hurrah we finally hit double digits on polywag this is shiny wait wait we're gonna golden raz but we're using normal pokeballs only on polywag we are doing a route currently we're doing my or someone else's actual route it's basically the same as mine Middle finger, brilliant. I see a pass rat hiding in amongst all the back. God, this is vile weather. Super vile weather. So I might as well give it a whirl. Oh, there's another shiny, 635. Hooray, shiny number 11 on camera. Look at that. Lammas Park delivering, ah, so it's rain on the screen. This is playing the rain, honestly, one of the worst things. <laughs> one of the worst things. Let me know if you feel the same. Don't mind me just drawing the phone on a, some Pokemon Go Fest New York merch from my merch store. Three star, but kind of a dirty three star. Boom, not a back to back. I will have some products tagged in the video so you can go and have a look at them and also check out the merch store link. Give it a whirl, people. A poly whirl. <laughs> but a few moments later, shiny polywag off of incense. We're gonna golden razz it and use a regular Pokeball. And the reason this is on camera is because once again, it being Sunday, Sunday evening, oh my God, the rain is already on the screen and I forgot to bring my phone umbrella with me. While that catches, I'll say do go and check out the Incensed podcast. You can find the link in the description of my videos. This week, episode 129, we have Yaya from Couple of Gaming on. It was an absolute pleasure to hang and chat with him. Thank you for jumping on, mate, and I'll see you in five, four, four, five days for London Go Fest. Brilliant stuff. Got to know him a lot, a lot better. And if you don't know about Couple of Gaming, go and check them out. The podcast will have all of their information available. That was shown number 12. And the reason we're also on camera is because I should be hatching my 7k eggs in fact there they go literally just that second we're going to try actually we're pausing right here because let's see if we can hatch something with the worst lighting possible archon not shiny tortuga not shiny maybe we can get a hundred out of this batch but we're going to see how many more eggs we can get we've already done two batches today so we're probably not going to be able to pick up two more many more many what on earth english is that archon this is probably going to be the longest clip of the video um, oh my god, this is actually, this is vile weather. I'm gonna turn around after we've checked out all the egg hatches. Nothing shiny still. Any hundos, any hundos, 98 or 96, sorry. Uh, no, all dead, wow. Have a look at this. That's the weather of community day. So we're probably gonna finish this route, go and get some lunch and play from home because this is vile. Yeah, we're not doing this anymore. <laughs> we're not doing this. No! <laughs> oh, that's that moment when you've just given up on the weather. Shundo, man. What? Yes. Check it out. Oh, for focus. There we go. It's, the rain is trying to throw your ultra ball. It's hovering. Oh god. Oh god. So, oh god. Hang on. 
We all came here because there was a reported hundo and um, Dwayne's got the shundo. Congrats. Meanwhile, I got the shiny next check because the game hates me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going home after this. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is not fun. <laughs> this is not. This is the opposite of fun. <laughs> what? I, what see, I can't believe that. I'm seeing that right Ah, oh, dude, nice. nice. Let's go. And now I'm now going to wait for someone to comment saying, "You clickbait. That's not your shundo." <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Right, we've got 50 minutes to go. We've cut, got a couple more shinies, but we're gonna go and grab some food and genuinely just go and lure up at home because it's just been vile weather. Shoes are soaked, but these are the final five seven kilometer eggs that we've got from today. Maybe something can actually come through for them. Egg number three, Arch and Tuntuga. It's almost on the final egg of today. It's Tyra, not a shiny. Anything good, wise, no, 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 no. These eggs don't like me. And as you can see now, it's after 5 p.m. And thankfully the lures are still running because we put them on super late. So we may get some Tyrant and Amora. Uh, no real further shinies. Let's have a little look and see how we did on the comm day overall. So shiny and including the arch. And so 19 shinies today, which is by far and away one of the lowest community day shiny rates I've ever had. Certainly in the last three years, I would say. But then again, I wasn't really checking anything. And literally in the last hour, I've had like three. So <laughs> nothing major. There weren't any PVP IV shinies, unfortunately. And I will do another check and see if I got anything that's good for Polyrath or Polytoad. But should we just evolve the 93 over to Polyrath and then the XXL to Polytoad? Genuinely, let me know in the comments below how your community day went. Did you go and grind for it? This is the first community day, to be honest, I called early. And after we got that, you know, the last clip with Dwayne from the Patreon squad getting the Shundo. Congrats again, mate. Pretty much everybody decided to call it and go home because it was just horrendous weather. And it's like, it's polywag at the end of the day. It wasn't something I was particularly interested in, I've got to be honest. And also GoFest coming up, I want to save resources, item space, and everything. So there is shiny Polly Wrath, which will get counter. Now, just for the laughs, let's evolve the XXL shiny to Polytoe being a fabulous shiny, needing that King's Rock. Uh, again, thank you to Pokemon Master Leo, part of the Patreon squad, who gifted me the Community Day ticket. I didn't say it earlier in the video because we actually completed the research on stream. Very much appreciate it. And there is Shiny Polito, absolutely beautiful Shiny. Genuinely, that's going to do it for this entire video. One of the weirdest Community Days I've probably played in the longest time, but just something about the Pokemon, the timing of it, and the weather all combined just made it incredibly unenthusiastic really for me. I didn't want to be trudging around too much more in the rain. So smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. I would greatly appreciate the support. This isn't usually the kind of style of play that we do. We're usually kind of a hardcore grinder. This was a very much a, uh, an exception to the rule. But I do have to say thanks to everybody who was a fantastic Patreon member of mine helping support the channel and me as a creator. I wouldn't be able to continue doing the content, the live streams, even charging through the rain and the terrible weather without the help and support of everybody on the rolling credits there. So thank you very much indeed. Many of them were out today, which is lovely always to see people coming down for the community day. The next week is kind of mad. We've got GoFest London coming up. I will be there all three days. In fact, I'm gonna give you the meetup poster here on the screen. We're gonna be in the park all three days. You can come and say hello. We're gonna be next door to wherever the notable trainers are gonna be. Not quite sure yet, because they haven't pushed the map out in typical Niantic late fashion. You will see me and the Incensed Podcast boys there next door. So come and say hello. I've got a bunch of stickers and stuff to hand out. We can do meet and greet photos and stuff like that. Come and have a chat. I can also say, if you're available, RSVP to the London's finest social event that is happening on the Saturday, August the 5th. I will be there. Amazingly, we've got VIP passes for a bunch of content creators there. So come and join. You do have to RSVP through their Discord server. So I'll put the link in the description or scan the QR code that is on your screen now. Content wise, next week, we've obviously got Spotlight Hour now for Volpix. We know that that is confirmed. And we've got Raid Hour for Raji Drago, I believe it is still. So where we're doing those and who we're doing those with, may be very different. We may not be in E-Link for those. Hopefully we can get out and finish doing the Adventure Week grind. I want to max out on the 7 kilometer eggs every single day that I can do. I will be posting very soon the schedule for London GoFest. I want to live stream a little bit each day. We have full access, city experience Saturday and Sunday. And talking of GoFest, there is still time, maybe not for London, etc. but you can go and check out the merch store. There's London, Osaka, New York, which 
currently on my person or the new fabulous global design. Go and grab some merch now if you're choosing to support the channel. Find it on the UK EU store or the US and Oceana store. All across there, lots of different products, so I really hope to see some Pogamile UK merch out there in the parks. I'm going to say until the next time, Spotlight Hour, Tuesday for Volpix. It's quite right, catching shiny Volpixes in London. It makes sense. I'll say, do take care.